in honor of breast cancer awareness. So off we go from the Camish Pavilion in Atlanta. Georgia Tech in white will go and get the first points from Norea Hermosa. Two looks starting five for Pitt in this final game of this season with those two starters out, Green and Harris. They go to a bigger lineup with both Cynthia Ezeza and Rita Ikbakwe starting together for the first time. Familiar faces in that starting five for Georgia Tech. The freshman Loyal McQueen along with Kubai and Fletcher. Lutnan's had a great year as well. Fletcher working over two defenders in the paint. Lottman will let it fly. Pittsburgh typically a very good offensive rebounding team. In fact, the best in the ACC in that category. Amber Brown is off the glass and in. As you mentioned, Jen, Pittsburgh is a great rebounding basketball team. They need to get second chances this afternoon as they did on that previous possession. Yeah, I think you, I think you have to put Jeff Walls in that list too. I know he's sure. expected to be good. And you think about how much Louisville lost from last year to this year. That's a, that's a very good point, Jen. I think you have to put Jeff Walls in the discussion as well. Nice moves to the basket by Everett. It was open, but. Close quickly with the Georgia Tech defense. Two on the shot clock. Everett knows it, brings it. As Pitt looking to run, the Panthers started slow, made just one of their first six attempts. And as Everett drains that one, that's five of their last eight. Scoring averages just under 15 points per game for the season. A couple feet behind the three-point line. You got to give Pittsburgh's defense a lot of credit here. Four on the shot clock for Fletcher off that inbound. She takes a quick shot and makes it. Five on the shot clock now for Pitt. Pleska's in some trouble. The shot from Struther is blocked. Shot clock violation. And you saw it right there with the shot clock already. It was going down low and Georgia Tech took it away. McQueen knocks it down. And that's what Georgia Tech does. That possession there was a perfect example. Pleska over McQueen. Got it. Rita Igbakwe to the post players for Pitt with two fouls in the game. Shot though is good. Jayla Everett in the double digits. She has 12. She's been, been hunting shots today, Jen. I love what I've seen so far. And I, I would agree with you, Kelly. One thing you look for as right there, Fletcher has six points in the game, 1,000 in her career. No, I would agree with you. Now, there are some tough shots that she's taking, but as I've said, with the way that she elevates, as we just saw right there, that's a perfect example. A lot of fouls to give. They have some good post depth, and that's what Lance White told us. He said, we want to be physical. We want to use our fouls. We want to make our presence felt inside defensively. It's not an easy thing to do. Mm. She might. She had 20 rebounds at Clemson earlier in the season, and she's on pace to, to break that season high. Pitt has also been locked in on guarding Lorella Kubai. Next time Kubai catches the ball, just take a look at how Pittsburgh is defending her. Putting her body there, making it very difficult for Kubai to do anything with the basketball. She is just surrounded by Pittsburgh Panthers. Hermosa takes her shot from the outside. She has six bad loss on the road at North Carolina, just clobbered by the Tar Heels in their last game. That was one of the things you noticed was just how physical teams were being trying to take Kubai away. Good look there from Kubai. Found Lawton. That shot clock was getting low again. Pitt has not had a lot of easy looks on the offensive end. Nor has George Tech. Hermosa makes that one look easy, though. Full slate with six ACC games. I love it. You love to see that. No teams currently on pause. It's a great feeling for everyone heading into the ACC tournament. Playing a similar role for the other side as she has 14 for Pitt. Pitt wearing the pink. Everett taking the first shot of the second half and picking up where she left off. Both teams doing a pretty good job taking care of the basketball in the first half. And Everett and Lawton and just looking for a little help probably as Pleska provides that for Pitt. Georgia Tech took them to overtime without Pierre Fletcher. So how different would that game have been if they had had Fletcher? And that would have been a serious signature win for Georgia Tech. 
Tech doesn't really play zone, but Lottman is all over Everett, and they're just daring the four other Panthers to beat the four other Yellow Jackets. McQueen knocks down a three. Look at that three ball. Good pass by Kubai. We talk about how South foul, which, of course, we're counting because it's a foul. So well, but. Three fouls on Lottman. Yeah, not so fast. <laughs> with two, so just hang tight on that. Okay. We'll get that clarified, whether it is two or three for Lawton. Fletcher, got it. Okay, here's my first team. I know the ACC does 10 on the first team, but I'm just going to do five and five, and I really do it by position. So my first team here, Dana Evans, of course, ACC Player of the Year in my mind. I know. I we were talking and trying to figure out who. I mean, Kanane's a slam dunk. She's on there yep. for sure as a first team. But then, who do you put with her? I mean, where does Raina Perez go? It's a player that runs the show for that team. <laughs> I think the point is it could be seen either way. So I see the point from the pit bench. And now we've got something better than foul or not foul to talk about as Pitt hits a three. Recent stretch of three games in a week, and Pittsburgh has had back to back. We're seeing some fatigue from both of these teams, I think, in this third quarter. A lot of three-pointers have been short. She is the leading scorer. She was. Fletcher has overtaken her from the free throw line, now has 15. And Hermosa has to play big with Kubai on the bench. They have been adamant that Kubai is not going to beat them. It's going to be someone else. And so far, they have done a good job of executing that plan. But even if you take Kubai out of it, championships are always fun and exciting. Great to see all those other sports going to get a chance to get their time in the spotlight as well. And London, we told you she started to cool off a bit, but hits another big bucket there. Excellent pass by Lorella Kubai. Lottman got an open shot because Kubai drew that attention at the high post, found her shooter. That's now three assists for the post player. Georgia Tech ninth. What were we thinking? I mean, seriously. But maybe we got, maybe the accolades got this right as we look at three Georgia Tech players that were honored on all ACC on Ladies Night on Thursday. Try to go by steals if you want to go the short, scrappy guards. You could try to go by blocks if you want to go the tall post players. But as you said, Kubai does a lot of things on the defensive end. And that's another big book, big bucket by Pitt. Miscommunication, costly turnover. Let's see if Pittsburgh can take advantage. Hayford, good look inside for Igbakwe. Oh, she made the right play. Found an open shooter. It just didn't fall for Pitt. Well, Fletcher turned around. Nobody in her face. She'll take that shot. I'm not Is sure what to make of the crowd noise, but it may have worked. Are those jackets swarming? I think they are. <laughs> That's what it sounds like anyway. Goodbye. has her first. 15 rebounds for the senior. Everett needs to make some buckets for the Panthers to have a chance, and she does. Pack just played a pretty strong game, winning that one by 30. Lottman, big three-pointer there. Kubai is fouled out. And then the ball's handed right to Everett. Won't have enough to get it all in one fell swoop, but she tries. Great game for Everett. Better game overall for Georgia Tech, Kelly.